So this is the main living area. Our couch is here, piano, chairs, everything. This window is so pretty. I think this will probably be my favorite view. So peaceful. Here we have the dining room table. Tad's gonna build me one day. Um, and a huge kitchen that leads up to the screened in porch. So welcome to our home. This is the living area. And we, as you can see, we still have some work to do. So I'm, I gotta get my rug in, I gotta hang some more things up. I uh, gotta paint a lot of things. Chad is in the process of making my table there. It's my lovely kitchen, which has already been amazing. I'm so excited about that. Just imagine them painted a different color, like white. And our bathroom that Chad just painted. This is the guest bathroom, and it's amazing what a difference white paint can make. That's beautiful. Your nice sized rooms with closets. I don't think the kids will know what to do. <laughs> and these are the rooms we still have to paint. So three rooms left. So we just laid out the rug and you can see how whenever I'm thinking about doing a room, I like there to be contrast. So if I have a, if I have a light bed that's not got a lot of pattern, I like there to be a lot of pattern in something that's contrasting it on the floor. So with everything, so if you have a lighter table, you do a darker chair. Um, with the cabinets, lighter baskets, darker paint. So everything that I'm thinking of, I, I like to contrast. So if I did a black mirror here, I feel like it wouldn't contrast as well as the gold mirror. And like for the plant, you wanna think of a light base if you're having it on a dark bottom. So every single thing that you're basically trying to decorate, you wanna think of a contrast to that. Light base, dark bottom. And I just, I feel like it just makes a beautiful contrast. And as you can see, I had wicker baskets, that kind of texture over on this side. So I brought it back over here on this left side as well. So now we're just gonna work on getting a little Finney's place done. What amazes me about Erin is that she can just look at any given space and just basically breathe life into it just with her imagination and creative skills and and then just us working together as a team, she's, she draws it and she envisions it. And that's honestly half the work, if not, you know, 75% of the work, just being able to come up with the creative ideas that's unique to the spot. And so I'm super proud and honored to work with her on any project, whether it's for our own kids or anyone else. It's a wonderful opportunity to just connect and have fun and bounce ideas off of each other. But yeah, we're excited about this one.
So we're planting the rose bushes. We the, picked the hottest day of the year. We did pick the, the hottest so far. It isn't bad. It's really not bad. Just the humidity is just a little bad. But I mean, it's middle of April, so we've got a lot more. It's gonna be a lot hotter. So, but I love it. master bedroom so i'm trying to envision where we would put everything but it's just as beautiful as always but it definitely needs some work here's all the decorations that i'm still trying to go through for the bedrooms um it's very cluttery but we have a bed and a master bathroom which has been a huge difference having two bathrooms i love that and then my plants that one's trying to die on me so yeah there's our house tour, but it's definitely not finished.